What's up y'all? How y'all feeling? In today's video, I'm just basically going to be demonstrating to y'all how I do my dramatic edges and the products that I use when I'm refreshing my braids and laying down my thick but very lovely edges. So basically, if you got some hair mousse, it could be any hair mousse, get that just to hydrate your braids, get you some oil sheen and just moisturize it in braids. Secondly, you're going to get you a comb. You're going to get you either a flat iron or you can get you one of these pencil flat irons. I think it's very good for your edges so you don't have to, you know, attempt to burn yourself. Because I know how a big girl, that stuff be high. Now, the key to having some clean, fresh, and fluffy edges is to make sure that they're clean. So when you're washing your face, girl, wash your edges too. That's a part of your face, you know. And you don't want it to be crusty. And I know them edge control products, they begin to build up on your face and... Ain't nobody got time to be looking like they and wash their hair or their hairline. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, anywho, y'all see what I'm doing? I'm basically just curving the flat iron with a pencil flat iron to the direction of how I want my edges to be. And that's what you can do or you can just straighten them straight out like this. Either way it go, that's the key to forming your um edges. So as you can see, you can just use your rag tail comb or you can use the edge brush. And all you got to do is just... If you watch your edges like this, do it like that. This is just um, if you want to create the foundation. So what you got to do right here is get your edge control. I use locking gel and I use edge boost. That's good for me because I got 4C here. It lays my edges down and it just be laid all day. I don't know what y'all use, but use what works for you. Because this might dry up white on your skin. I don't know. You got to test out what's best for you. If you normally use that edge control that's in your bedroom right there, that's for you, you know? We all got different hair types. But when it comes to curving your edges like this and really getting that type of formation, you're going to have to take your time, baby. I'm not going to lie to you. This video only like nine minutes, but I did my edges for about five. <laughs> I'm not even going to kid with y'all. And this is sped up. Somewhat sped up, somewhat not. But as y'all can see, I'm very focused. And I'm not going to be talking through, through like the whole video, but I just want y'all to understand that you just got to take your time and place your edge control on your hair. You don't have to use too much, but you have to use just enough so you can be able to get that solid hold going. And I feel like that'll really work out for you. And depending on the temperature that's outside, you know, if it's hot outside, you know, you might need a little bit more. If it's a decent temperature, you might not need that much just to have your edges just flowing looking real nice because you know as well as your edges being done the product can you know build up you know because our skin does sweat and we do get hot and all that sort of stuff so this part in the front some people take it very difficultly difficult <laughs> difficultly <laughs> yeah i just be trying to say words in my own form and it just never works out but what i'm saying is do not get stressed out because y'all finna see it in my face how I'm finna look when I'm doing the front part of my edges. You really got to take your time when it comes to doing your edges because as you can see, I'm literally, one hand is moving edges, moving, not moving. <clears throat> one hand basically is forming what direction that I want the edges to go in. And it does get irritating, but take your time girl like you really can do this like literally put that gel on there then you just gonna curve like use one hand to flatten it and use the other hand to just brush it on up you want to give it that tilt and straighten and you always gonna end up going back so don't even worry about it sometimes you gotta straighten it down and pull it right back up as y'all can see i just got irritated like oh my god okay i'm gonna take my time you see i'm complaining yeah y'all like Doing dramatic edges all comes with the, it, it's like in a flick of the wrist. Okay, but I mean, it's in a flick of the wrist. Honey boo boo. So yeah, this looks really nice. And I don't want y'all to just start like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm a visual learner, so. Um, I taught myself how to do my edges. Like, y'all, like, when I was in um, grammar school, I kid y'all not, I used to do my edges. 
like they was like literally almost touching my my uh, eyebrows. I'm not even kidding y'all, but that's that's for another story. But anyway, I just got distracted. But yeah, um, just take your time doing your edges, girl. You see how I'm I'm making that like curve go around, you know? My like key point that you can use as like a an edge guide. Make sure that you have two edges that curve by your ear, and make sure that you have two going right above there, and then you have like a um what's it called a widow's peak so basically all you got to have is the left and the right and then above that left right and then a widow's peak and if you want to add any more like extra curls you can do that going formulated to the front but it's really that easy it's really self-explanatory it will take you some time to learn i'm not gonna lie to y'all because learning how to do your edges don't happen overnight and i know how girls be getting their hair done and the, the stylist like i don't know e even the stylist that did my braids she did my age is how I never did them before. Everybody has their own technique. So just put however you know how to do your edges into how you finna do your edges. You feel me? You know, it might not be like theirs, but you know yourself gonna be groomed and pretty. Okay? The goal is to just do your edges, okay? Because I feel like when you have these cute hairstyles, the edges just put the cherry on the top. And you guys know I'm not kidding, like... How you got some fresh braids and then you just do your edges. You wash your face and you do your edges. The hairstyle is more fat. Like literally after I get done doing my edges, y'all going to see the difference of how it was okay for me not doing my edges. You know, I'm still pretty, still got it going on. But when you add the edges, it just completes the whole look. Because the braids are already snatched. <laughs> the braids are already laid. Okay, honey? And... All you got to do is lay them edges down and take your time. It does get irritating, as y'all can see. I'm literally brushing and and using the back of the um, edge brush, which has a comb. I would suggest that you get an edge brush like that because it's better than, you know, getting a comb and getting a brush. You have a two-in-one brush, and it's very um convenient, too. You just flip it around. You ain't got to do all that. So, yeah. As you guys can see... We just did our edges, and if you need to know how to do it again, just rewind this video. I made it just for y'all, because, you know, I love the girlies who got the long edges. Don't ever cut them off, babes. You're blessed. Everybody don't get edges. A lot of people want edges. A lot of people be trying to take all these growth, you know, supplements to get edges, and they ain't got edges. So if you got long edges, please appreciate them, and don't let nobody try to make you feel like you got to cut them off or you shouldn't have baby hairs i'll call them adult baby hairs because baby if it's your hair and god gave it to you then that's a blessing okay look at me i'm 26 and i'm pretty with pretty edges you think i'm not finna wear these edges you thought i wasn't yeah no nah. i'm gonna give y'all what it's given and the edges are given the braids are given and i just showed you guys how to do y'all edges so thank me letter Drop a comment down below if you want to talk about the type of hair that you have so we can figure out what edge control that you like. Or if you know you want to know where I got these flat irons, I'll tag that as well in the description below. And as well as a lock in gel and edge boost if you guys aren't aware of them or you want to order them online. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just here to make sure the girls love on their hair, even if it's natural styles, bantu knots, box braids, you know, even when it comes to wigs, you still got to do your edges as well. It's always a similar technique, but I want you guys to really enjoy the rest of your day and give this video a thumbs up and share it on your timeline right now. I would really appreciate that, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. Save this video right now and hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on IG and follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Bye.